Hey guys, it's Krista here again, and I'm going to do my May wrap-up. And I cannot believe that May has come to an end already. It's been going so fast this year. Um, I do have a post coming up June 1st with a list of all of my favorite reads so far this year and what I'm looking forward to read the, for the rest of the year. Um, of course, it couldn't contain everything that I want to read. So, uh, I just can't believe it's time for that kind of post already. So, for as far as May goes, these are the books that I have um, done reviews on over at my blog, cubicleblindness.com. Or you can check out my reviews on Goodreads, and I will link both of those below. So, first off, let's start with Shine by Lauren Miracle. This was a story about a small town in which a, um, boy, a gay boy, boy has been beaten up. He's in a coma in the hospital and we follow his friend who is a girl um, trying to figure out why and who and the ending was fantastic. It kept me on the edge of my seat. Um, it was a heavier tone novel obviously they're trying to figure out why the boy was beaten finding out different stories of the people in town it gets kinda dark and deep in places um, I did a net galley challenge, which was fun. Let's see how many net galley books I can read in a month. Uh, the Cellar by A.J. Witten was a zombie book. And I know some people, when they think zombies, they think traditional zombies. They're dead, they want to eat your brains, they can't think for themselves. But this is definitely about um, a boy and his mother who, you know, they can think for themselves. Uh, the boy even, you know, is looking to fall in love. It's a different kind of story. But we're following the sister of the girl that falls in love with the boy. She thinks that there's something wrong here. There's something wrong with this boy and his mother. And, you know, tries to solve what the heck's going on in their town. But I thought it was very cute and I enjoyed the story. And, um, you know, it's a it's a taste, I think. So, you know, some people like it some won't. Uh, the um, Dreadfully Ever After series, Pride and Prejudice and Zombies, um, Dawn of the Dreadfuls, Dreadfully Ever After. I did a video on this with my reviews of those books. I highly enjoyed them. I thought they were hilarious. I love the twist on the whole Pride and Prejudice story and fantastic reads. I just, I laughed. I giggled. I giggled my butt off. They were cute. Um, <laughs> I can't wait to read more books by Quirk Books. Um, let's see here. Midnight for Charlie Bone by Jenny Nemo. There are a lot of books already out in this series, and I didn't realize that. This is the first book, and, um, I knew that the kids had like special abilities or powers that go to the school. So I was kind of thinking, you know, Harry Potter, but they're not wizards. As they're not described as wizards. Um, but this is definitely a, kind of a darker kind of setting. The school was darker. The teachers were meaner. You know, the, even his, parent, his uh, grandma that he lives with and his family is just like, they're kind of horrible people. Except for I really enjoyed the uncle. Um, but anyway, I mean, it was a fun, entertaining read. It wasn't quite what I was expecting going into it. Um, but, uh, tons of stuff in that series. You guys should check it out. Uh, 13 Little Blue Envelopes by Maureen Johnson. I felt like this book is the life of my dreams. It's about a teenage girl who gets sent some envelopes from an aunt that has, is deceased. And, um... She has to open them in order, and each envelope tells her where to go um, and what to do with the money that she's given. And it just sounded fantastic. I just, okay, I can do that. I wish that was me. It was a very, very cute read. Totally girly. Uh, I read a, um, it's a short novella, I guess it would be called. It was about 70 pages, but it's fantastic. The author sent it to me to review, and it was called Day of Sacrifice by S.W. Benefield, and 
I loved it. I loved it from like the very beginning. Lots of action. Um, it's about um, one child in each family has to sacrifice, has a, a child that needs to be sacrificed. And I think it was on their 18th birthday or somewhere around there. And um, they ha you know, there's rules like being a virgin and uh, you can't, uh, I don't know, there were rules anyway for the what the sacrifice had to be. Um, so anyway, this one girl, she is the sacrifice for their family, and um, one day things kind of go wrong, and she has to run off and hide, and I think there's angels in it. The guy that saves her has wings, um, but anyway, I don't want to get too involved with it, because it's like, like I said, it's only like 73 pages, but it has a lot of action, very intense, very fun read. I enjoyed it very fast. Um, but I cannot wait to see what happens in the next books. Uh, a series of unfortunate events, book number one. I finally got around to reading book number one, and I thought it was fantastic. It was just like the movie, well, parts of the movie, because the movie is like out of four or five of the books, but, um, you know, almost word for word, just like the movie, which is, of course, I love the movie, so I enjoyed it a lot. Um, I also listened to the audiobook and Tim Curry... I believe was the narrator and he's fantastic so it's also a great audiobook you should pick it up um, one of my favorite reads so far this year is Awakened by Katie Kavinsky this one is a dystopian novel and it's about um, when society has gotten so far where the computers are practically you know they, they take over our lives it's uh, following a girl who um, is just about to graduate high school and her whole day is spent in front of a computer she never leaves her house she, they have no need to ever leave the house and um, she does have soccer so she does have one friend and they go to soccer but you know she rarely sees her and I you know they usually talk and communicate by text and um, by computer but one day in one of the classes that she's taking a boy has asked her to meet at one of the public places that they that some very few people um, go out in public like coffee shops and stuff it's just not known anymore and he asked her to go to this um, class with him and it all kinda goes from there about um, you know is technology really a, a good thing and um, secrets are going on hidden things are going on and it, it was just a really good read. I really enjoyed it. I think um, it's going to be a series, but I can't remember if I found that out or not. Um, then I read Die For Me by Amy Plum, which I thought was a fantastic read. I really enjoyed every minute of it. Um, this also, you know, some people have been referring to it as a zombie story. And while it is uh, it does have some dead, they call them revenants in the story. And while it's people coming back to life, it was a lot different than just a zombie story. Like, they don't eat humans, and they don't go after brains, and they're not brain dead. I mean, Revenants technically is people that come back from the dead. But it was more, in my eyes, like a reincarnation or something, you know, coming back. But you guys will have to read it. But I still recommend you totally check it out. I really enjoyed it. And then another, um, the last book is Shimmer Spell by Kimberly Spencer. This one was also um, a copy given to me by the author asking for a review. And I thought it was so cute. It's a fairy story. And it, it's, uh, I don't, I don't want to say it's darker than most fairy stories I've read. But it's kind of really intense and it's going between worlds and there's a lot of action happening. And it was also another short story, so I don't want to ruin it for anybody, but I really enjoyed it. And so that's kind of it for me. That's my wrap-up. I know there's a couple more days left still here in May, but I'm reading Divergent by, by Veronica Roth and Hill Serpent Academy by Richard Denny. And I won't have those reviews put up until mo next month anyway, so... That's my wrap-up for the blog this month. I hope it made sense. Um, sometimes it gets hard to fit all these books into a, a little video. So thanks for watching, and happy reading, guys, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.